Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, thanks for coming back. Today, I'll be going over how I style my Sui Coke Pepper Evabs, aka the Peppa Steppas, aka the Igloo shoes, aka the cute turtle looking shoes. I've been wearing these shoes pretty often, and I wanted to share with you guys the outfits that I've been wearing with these particular shoes. So, let's get started. So for the first outfit in this outfit, this is like a pretty basic general look that I'm pretty sure you guys all have seen. This outfit has been trending on social media for this season in particular, winter and fall. And the hoodie and the sweatpants are both from Los Angeles Apparel. Me and my boyfriend actually get a lot of our sweatpants and hoodies from them. From what I am aware of, Braindead actually uses the sweatpants from Los Angeles Apparel as well to create their own sweatpants. Same with their hoodies. And then for the puffer, super popular right now, puffer vest from North Face. I think I got this from a North Face outlet. And I think this is like a super cozy look with the Sui Cokes. I usually wear sweats at home. Not lying to you, I literally have sweats right now. So I would probably throw on like a hoodie and then the vest on top. And this is just like a very casual outfit. For the second outfit, definitely put this outfit together for you guys before. But if you haven't seen this outfit, very cool. I'm glad you did it. For the pants, they definitely mimic the pants from Gima Gauze they actually mimic it it's not kind of from the bottom to top exactly the Gimaga pants but these i got from my zoffel review a while back i don't know if you guys seen it but i'll link it up here for you guys as well and on top i'm wearing like a cream sweater so what i like to do in the winter and in the fall is i love to layer things i think layering is super important and it's nice because when you layer you can kind of take off one outfit at a time or one layer at a time and you can have a totally different outfit each time on top i'm wearing a cream sweater sweater long sleeve it kind of mimics like this look but underneath i'm wearing this brandy melville thermal not really thermal this long sleeve that i had had for a while and i just threw it on it's kind of like this outfit and on top i just decided to throw on the leather because i wanted to throw some black in there i feel like the sui cokes are a really great balance with cream and white colored outfits and for this one it's nice because it has a little bit of cream and a little bit of red and i feel like the sui cokes really tied all that in together i know i am a little stuffy right now i think i don't have covid because i've been getting negative on tests but i feel like i have a little bit of runny nose congestion right now so I sound a little bit gross. Bear with me. This is actually one of my favorite outfits of this lookbook. One, I haven't been able to show you guys this jacket that I thrifted in Brooklyn when I went to New York. Love the colorway of this. Like lately, I've been seeing so much gloom and doom and just so much blech because it's winter. My favorite season is not winter, it's not fall, it's spring and summer. So I love really bright colors. Clearly, look at my period color couch. I love this tank top. I've been wearing it for a while. You guys definitely have seen it before, but this one is from Birthday Girl Shop, which I will also link down below. And for the pants, I threw on these like dress pants that I thrifted a while back. It has a baggy look to it, which I like. And the Sui Cokes would be a good end game for this outfit. I like this outfit. For this fourth outfit, this outfit is super cozy, super green. I love it. You know, I love all my green things. For the pants, like, you know what? Let's start from head to toe. For the beanie, I got this beanie online on eBay a while ago. And I know some people have some reserved thoughts about buying used beanies or shoes on eBay or thrifting them. If you make sure that they're clean and you wash them the minute you get them, I think you'll be fine. It's not the end of the world. I did get this beanie on eBay because at the time I was trying to teach myself how to knit a beanie as like an example of what I would knit. For the shirt, I actually thrifted this at the Silver Lake Flea Market and I got it a while ago. It has some weird physics design on it about how to navigate a boat. And then for the blazer, I got the blazer from Zara a while ago. It's actually my sister's, but I stole it. So I wouldn't say I got it. I just took it from a closet when I was living back at home and I ended up just taking it by accident. So it was in my closet and I decided to use it for this outfit. And for the pants, I got these pants for my good friend, Johan, and he got it from This Is Never That. I decided to throw on these pants because I like the little subtle greens and the little patterns on both the beanie and the pants. For the accessories, I threw on the bag because 
because why not? I just thought that the bag design would match really well with the blazers and it did and it looks really good. And this is another way I would style my suey coats. For the fifth outfit, this outfit is pretty casual and there's just a lot of strings hanging and strings being tied in this particular outfit. For the pants, I got the pants from Cafe For Go, but specifically the pants are from 604 Service, which is a Korean brand. For the top, I'm wearing the same brandy long sleeve that I usually wear as a thermal under everything that I layer. I'll wear it underneath my long sleeves, I'll wear it underneath my sweaters and my hoodies. I'll just wear it pretty often. And on top, I just decided to throw on like a white button up collared long sleeve. And then on top of that, I'm wearing like a vest. It would have been nice if I had leather vest, some different type of material vest. And for the hat, I'm wearing a hat that I got in Las Vegas, which is also a strip club. And this outfit is pretty casual, nothing crazy, nothing too crazy, which I love. And for the sixth outfit, this outfit is super New York. I really love this outfit, trying to wear more head pieces. So I started wearing head scarves and I really love head scarves these days. It's just been something I've been into and so I decided to throw it into this video. This head scarf is actually my mom's old scarf. So what I did was I tied it around my head to give this like head scarf illusion. It's probably a head scarf because it's super long and on top I'm wearing the white button up colored long sleeve. And I decided not to do anything with that. I just wanted to keep it super simple. And then for the bottoms, I'm wearing these like baggy, oversized light blue denim pants. I've also ironed butterflies on in the back. These pants are in my denim collection video as well. And I decided to throw on the same purse. Another way you can actually style this look, but be more cozy is my seventh outfit, which is the same thing, headscarf, but on top, I decided to throw on a sweatshirt. You can actually pop out the colors and give this complete different look. For the pants, I wore the same denim and had the same accessories and the same shoes. It's like the same look, but cozier, which is also a plus because if you're in a location that has super cold weather, this is how I would probably layer this particular outfit. I feel like layering is super important, guys. You guys might not think it's important, but it's very important. For the last and final outfit, this outfit is pretty basic, nothing crazy, nothing fashion -y to us but on dress pants and I think flare pants look really good with suey cokes. I'm layering again so I basically have the brandy long sleeve that I'm wearing underneath this white one and on top I'm wearing a t-shirt which is super tight. It's like this asymmetric t-shirt. Throw on another sweater, this brown cashmere sweater and then on top I decided to wear my puffer. So I have four different layers on for this particular outfit but you can't even tell and I'm gonna stay warm and everyone else will be cold. The puffer jacket I got on eBay and the cashmere sweater I actually thrifted as well. You could tell because there's holes in it. I actually got that cashmere sweater for $1. I remember where it was, it was in LA. We were driving by, me and my friends, and then we saw this like random pop-up. Everything was a dollar. So literally everything was on the floor. It was really grimy. And I found this one sweater with holes in it and it was only a dollar, so I just got it. And for the dress pants, I also thrifted those as well. And then the suey cokes paired really well with this outfit. This would be like a Bay Area outfit. This is what I wear in the Bay because it's freaking cold here. Sometimes my house is 50 degrees, which is crazy to me. So these are all the outfits I put together with the Suey Cokes. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions or any questions regarding items that I wore, I'll put those all in the description box down below. So don't fret. I know this was a super quick video, but I'm glad you guys are here and you guys made it to the end. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. It would mean so much. But other than that, I hope you guys stay safe and you guys are enjoying your new year.